In the previous lecture, we obtained this circuit, the circuit of two port system with internal elements. In this lecture, we will analyze this circuit with the load resistance. We will connect the load resistance between the output terminals and first we will find out the output voltage VO because in calculation of loaded voltage gain, in calculation of loaded voltage gain, we need the output voltage VO because loaded voltage gain is equal to the ratio of output voltage to the input voltage and as you can see we have load resistance connected in this circuit the voltage gain is the loaded voltage gain so first we will obtain the output voltage VO and to calculate the output voltage VO I will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop you can see the direction of output current is from right to left this is the direction of load current in this branch and according to this direction the direction of load current in this branch in the branch of load resistance is from bottom to top and now I will apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law I will move in this direction so we have plus of VO plus of VO and we have IO current in this branch and you can see we are moving in the opposite direction as the direction of current so we will take plus of IO RL this is the drop across this resistance this is negative terminal and this is the positive terminal if you consider it as a potential drop and the potential drop is equal to IO RL and as we are moving in this direction we will have positive sign here is equal to zero now I will subtract I O R L on both the sides this will give me output voltage minus I O R L so we have the output voltage and if we can calculate the output current I O we will have the output voltage in terms of no load voltage gain the input voltage and the resistances so let's try to calculate the current I O the output current we will again use the Kirchhoff's voltage law but this time we will use it in this loop from Kirchhoff's voltage law we have minus of AVNL multiplied with VI we have minus of AVNL multiplied with VI this voltage then we have minus of IORL drop across this resistance the load resistance minus IORL then we have minus I O R O drop across this resistance minus I O R O equal to zero. So this is what we have from Kirchhoff's voltage law and after rearranging this equation we have the output current equal to minus A V N L multiplied with V I divided by the load resistance plus the output resistance. So this is the expression of output current and I will put this value here. So the output voltage VO, the output voltage VO is equal to AVNL multiplied with VI divided by RL plus RO and don't forget the negative sign. We have negative sign and then we will multiply it with minus RL minus RL negative signs will become positive and then we have the final value of the output voltage VO which is equal to RL AVNL VI divided by the load resistance plus the output resistance so this is the final expression and by using this expression we can easily calculate the loaded voltage gain and if you remember the last presentation I told you our prime aim is to calculate the loaded voltage gain the loaded voltage gain is the voltage gain when the load resistance is connected across the output terminals and this loaded gain will have the non loaded voltage gain in its expression you will see the loaded voltage gain is having the non loaded voltage gain in its expression if I divide this expression by VI by VI 
then this vi and vi will cancel out so we have vo divided by vi equal to rl divided by rl plus ro multiplied with av and l vo by vi is the loaded voltage gain so avl is equal to rl divided by rl plus ro multiplied with av and l so the expression of loaded voltage gain is having the non-loaded voltage gain now there is one very important point related to this expression let's try to understand this point you can see in this expression we have rl divided by rl plus ro and it is very easy to understand that rl the load resistance is always less than rl plus ro and because of this we are dividing the numerator we are dividing the numerator by a denominator which is larger than the numerator and we can say that rl divided by rl plus ro is always less than 1 and this is very easy point to understand and let's say rl divided by rl plus ro is equal to 0 0.7 so avl a vl is equal to 0 0.7 times a v n l or we can write or we can write a v l equal to 7 by 10 times a v n l or 10 times a v l is equal to 7 times a v n l so the non-loaded voltage gain is always greater than the loaded voltage gain this is very important point this is very important point the non-loaded voltage gain a v and l is always greater than the loaded voltage gain so this was the point and now we will calculate the current gain the current gain a i and from the last lecture we know the direct formula for the current gain it is equal to negative of voltage gain multiplied with the input impedance over the load resistance so this is the direct formula of the current gain but i will not use it i will obtain it using the definition of current gain according to the definition of current gain it is equal to current gain is equal to ratio of output current output current to the input current this is according to definition and you can see i o is equal to minus v o divided by r l we have already seen this v o is equal to minus i o r l this means i o is equal to minus v o by r l and if you see this circuit the input current i i is equal to v i divided by r i very simple so we have v i divided by r i and we already know the voltage gain is equal to v o by v i and in this case the voltage gain is the loaded voltage gain so rearranging this we have we have minus of v o divided by v i multiplied with zi divided by rl if you remember the last presentation i said input impedance is equal to the input resistance because we have to deal with bjt and fet so in place of ri we have zi vo by vi is equal to avl so the current gain is equal to minus a vl multiplied with zi divided by rl and this is the same thing you will get from this formula so this is all for this lecture in the next lecture we will analyze the same circuit we will analyze the same circuit but instead of having the load resistance we will have the source resistance rs now we will move to homework problems there are two homework problems for you you have to find out the input impedance and the output impedance and once you have your answers post them in comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one